white boy on my roster. He be feeding me pasta and lobster. He just hit me up on Tuesday, like, what's doing, babe? Let me take you shopping. I told him, well, I'm a little busy. He said, damn, I'm in your city. But anyway, it's okay. Hope you have a good day. I'ma see you by day 50. Then I told him, you treat me so well. He said, can't shop to sell. Matter of fact, scratch that. I'ma see what's that just because you fine as hell. Good morning, y'all. Today is maintenance week. And I'm so excited. Like, I haven't had my lashes done in a minute. My hair needs done. My nails. I broke a nail. I need my nails done. Um, I need my brows waxed. I need a pedicure, but I broke my big toe. So I think I'm a chill it is getting warm outside though and i don't want to put another acrylic toe over it because that's how it broke in the first place uh, i don't know if i'm gonna do a pedicure but i really 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 need one but this maintenance is literally so last minute i literally just booked all these appointments like a couple days ago i booked my nail appointment like two days ago lash appointment two days ago hair appointment two days ago like i booked all this last minute because i'm just like look look we got to get it together like i don't know that's one thing i will never not fit in the budget is maintenance like being a girl i just feel like i have to have my nails done lash is not really too important i have to have my hair done i need my feet done i just need to look and feel like the baddest period but i'm also in such a good mood this morning because i have something to show y'all we hit 50k y'all on youtube but we hit 50k like ugh, i am just so happy like i am getting closer and closer and closer to that 100k plaque like this consistency is paying off i'm telling you i could just imagine if i was to be as consistent as i have been for the, the whole entire year i'll be at 100k in no time i don't know 50k is just so big to me like we are at 50k we are halfway to 100k like damn we really did that i'm in just such a good mood today like my videos have been doing so 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 good like off the roof like and i'm just feeling very blessed god came through at the perfect time because lord knows like i was struggling i was in my flop era i was just like damn what am i doing wrong and now here we are so it's gonna be a really good week y'all it really is like that just set the tone for my whole entire week it is tuesday yesterday i had work this maintenance week is kind of weird because i do work so i have a maintenance appointment every other day literally how my maintenance days are gonna have to be unless i do everything in one which i don't even play with i be having the worst luck when it comes to stylists nail techs all that like you're not about to cancel on me or you're not about to push me back and then i gotta push my next point back and then i get no Mm -mm. so i just separated it all and i'm fine that way but this is gonna be our spring maintenance i think spring started a little minute ago in my head spring just started like yesterday because it just started feeling good outside for real so i'm gonna say spring just started and we're starting our spring maintenance today nails hair lashes today is nails i'm getting a fill i still have all my nails on except this one which is my fault but it's definitely time for a fill but i'm also getting a cut down because i just want them like short and as you can see from the picture they are pretty short I'm just getting some white Frenchies and then I want the little pink cherry on that nail. And that's literally it. Just something simple and yeah. My appointment is at 11. It is 9 o'clock so I do have some time to spare. I'm going to play with the dogs, take the dogs out, do this, do that, feed the dogs. Just go ahead and get my morning started and then we'll get ready for our nail appointment. I just went ahead and got myself together but before I head out the door... Um, she did push my appointment back 30 minutes, which was good for me because I was running a little bit behind. But before we head out the door, I just want to show you all the wig I'm getting installed. This wig in my head is from Ally Pearl. The girls over at Ally Pearl is my girls for real. They ate, okay? This install is like two weeks old and it's still actually pretty decent. It's just pushed back because it's been two weeks and I haven't done nothing to it for for I just you know try to keep this down and stuff like that so yeah but it's time for a new wig okay Daria hair sent me this wig this is not sponsored I am giving them a promo video but this video is not sponsored so I'm gonna let y'all know the T on this wig this is a 24 inch frontal I don't know if it's a 13 by 6 or 13 by 4 but it's just a curly wig um I have to curl it because when you do wig promos they are very specific with how they want you to do their wigs y'all always ask me oh, okay we want to see you do some color do some color do some color baby the wig companies ain't sending me no color i'm not doing no color okay these wig prices done got too out of hand for me to be paying myself whatever they send me is whatever kyle will install hello the reason i'm showing y'all this week is because i gotta go drop it off today my appointment is on thursday so i'm gonna go ahead and drop it off today while i'm out and about just y'all right at my nail appointment
back for my nail appointment. Ben is crying, the other dog is barking. I'm irritated. Shut up, everybody. Like I was saying, let's just ignore the background. I just came back from my nail appointment. These are my nails. Just short Frenchies with the little red cherry. I was gonna do pink, but I don't know. The red kind of just felt more, I don't know. I'm really in my like simple girl era. I love simple everything. Simple nails, simple hair. That's just what it's given these days. So just picked up lunch. I'm about to give y'all a little low calorie Chick-fil-A hack. Since I'm on my 75 stuff, I gotta be mindful of what I eat when I eat out. So first you're gonna get a small mac and cheese. This is very much medium, but it's okay. I'm going to the gym right after this. Throw it in a bowl. You can ask uh, the ones from Chick-fil-A, but apparently they cost money. Then what are these? The grilled nuggets up top and then Sauce of your choice. One sauce is like 40 calories. The mac and cheese is like 200. The grilled nuggets is like 200. So that's 400 calories right there. And sometimes I use sauce, sometimes I don't, but today I do want some sauce. So we got a little concoction. This is my lunch. I'm about to go ahead and chill, go to the gym later after I finish my food digest. And that's really it. Today's maintenance is literally just my nails. But next time y'all see me, I will be getting my hair done. I will meet y'all on Thursday. Oh my God, y'all, this lighting is so bad. I'm so sorry. I just went ahead and picked up Seven Brew. This is a sugar-free ice white chocolate mocha with sugar-free caramel drizzle. Baby, this looks fire. Like, I have my um, bonnet on because it's hair appointment day. I'm about to head over to my hair appointment. I don't even know how far it is. Like, I'm kind of being very inconsiderate today, which is not cute. Seven, I never come to Seven Brew because it's so out the way. There's two, there's one near my job, but that's like 30 minutes away. And then there's one on a, a whole different side of town which i never even come to which is the one i'm at now which is another 30 minutes away so i'm excited it'll be so funny if it was gross all right cheers maybe that's not sugar free that's not sugar free it's no way because it's no way this is sugar free this is so good seven bro you did your thing this is actually pretty good but I'm about to head to my hair appointment. I'm getting a wig install. I have a wig promo to do. One of the comments on my recent videos, it was my hair video. My page is getting a lot more traction these days. So I posted a hair video and somebody was in the comments like, um, Kaya, I love you, but we need vlogs. I need money. I need money and free wigs. I don't know what to tell y'all. I try to not really OD with the wig promos. That's all I got to say. I, the wig videos, I, I know they boring. I know a lot of people don't watch them. I know it's just, me get my hair done but your girl got to do what she got to do okay but enough of me yapping i'm about to go ahead and take the drive back and i'll meet y'all at my hair appointment lace front f up you should have wore your bonnet did a side part which I don't normally do but like 
can we just get into the look like i've been sitting in this parking lot taking videos taking pictures my phone is hot as i don't know what like i don't know why my pictures keep coming out like inverted y'all know how they switch sides like i didn't take the picture on this side and that's my bad side i gotta switch them but these pictures cute and it's like the no lash look hello can we get into her for real can we get into her I'm going to Ulta because I'm low on my girls. Like, this has been my new obsession. Y'all know I love a good lippy, but this has been my new obsession, these Elf Lip Oils. Do y'all see how much I have left? And I have one at home, but that one's gone too. Like, I have been using these faithfully. And they're like six, seven, maybe eight dollars versus the Dior Lip Oil, 40 yeah these are actually really fire they don't leave that white line around your lips they just give what needs to be gave so i'm about to go in ulta and pick up some of these and i also want to smell the new the green valentino perfume and i also have a ysl pr package on the way and it's ysl libre i smelled it before i don't remember if i liked it or not i don't think i liked it but i want to smell it again just to see what's coming i don't plan on picking that up but y'all know how i get it if i want something i'm gonna get it point blank period Back from Ulta. Wow, I bought a perfume. Got my little Ulta bag. But Valentino just came out with this new green perfume. And it's been all over TikTok and I had to smell it. I don't know if y'all seen that clip, but when I was in Ulta, I tried to record and like smell the perfume for y'all. But they have a sign up that says you can't test without asking somebody. They have the testers locked. You can't test perfumes no more by yourself. And I feel like that's annoying as hell because when I'm in the store testing perfumes, I'm in the store testing perfumes. I will be in there for 45 minutes if I need to, smelling all different types of perfume. And I felt like a burden. That's why I felt like, like I low-key felt like I had to get it. Like, I was peer pressured. Like, I didn't want to sit there and keep asking her, okay, um, what about this one? Let's smell this one. Let's smell this one. But it's like, you know? And I feel like that's why they did that. Like, that makes sense because now y'all getting me. I wasn't coming here to buy no perfume. I should've just left it alone. And then the Elf Lip Oils, they were like, they only had a couple. This is the one I have at home. So I just bought two more of the same one. Literally my Ulta haul, three things, 160 bucks. Time to take my ass home, <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah. This sad part is not busting my mouth. Good morning. Good morning, y'all. Uh, I'm really trying to get the energy to come up on here and talk to y'all, but it took everything in me this morning not to sleep through my last appointment. Like, I was just like, okay. In my head, it got so bad to the point where I'm like, okay, if they want my money, take it out. Take the money out for the no show. I don't care, I'm tired. I woke up extremely tired this morning. This week has been so long and so rough. I kind of stopped vlogging after like, I think that Ulta trip. It's just because everything went completely left. I just, I have been going through a lot behind the camera. I'm trying to come up on here today. Hopefully get my lashes on me feel better. I really don't even want to get my lashes done, y'all. Like, I guess because I'm just not in the mood. I'm tired. Um, I'm going to somebody new. I'm going to like a little shop. It's like a lash shop. I'm not going to film because this is literally like an open concept shop. So everybody is getting their lashes done in one room. Which I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess we'll see. It's really cute, though. It got like aesthetic and stuff. We'll see. I had to find a new lash shake because now that I work, my lash shake schedule just doesn't work with mine. Um, I mean, it could, but she only offers like late appointments. And I just refuse to get off of work and go straight to get my lashes done. That sounds like H-E double hockey stick. I just can't. I don't want my lashes done that bad. I don't use card no more for appointments because... If y'all been here for a minute, you know what happened to me during that one maintenance vlog when I was getting my nails done and my bank said I had no money in my bank account so I literally could not cash out, Apple Pay, nothing. And I never keep cash on me. So I was just sitting there looking stupid trying to pay my nail tech, but I couldn't. They said zero dollars. And it was money, it was funds in there, boo, trust. I never keep my account at zero. That's insane for you to even tell me that. Apparently the system went down or whatever. So ever since then, I've always, I've been doing cash only at my appointments. 20, 40, 60, 80. Whoa, the 50s. Hold on, I gotta start with the 50s. That's so sad. Yeah, and we also have to get a brow wax today. Let me show y'all. I took pictures the other day. I have to keep switching phones. This is ridiculous. I'm really thinking about getting rid of one of these. Okay, I took pictures the other day and I just have to show y'all. If you don't know, my eyebrows is micro shaded. Look at my eyebrows. You see how my hair is just growing downward? 
The picture ain't though. I dropped these pictures on Instagram. Hold on, glare, go away. I dropped these on gram. Like, yeah, the pictures ain't. But my lash, I mean my eyebrows. So I'm gonna get that situated today too. Probably right after my lash appointment. Go get a coffee, come home, and that's what's on the agenda. So I will see y'all after my lash appointment. I'm back. Y'all, she snapped on my lashes. Like oh my god i went to a new lash check and she literally did what needs to be done this is the perfect cat eye like I, I don't know what the measurements are i told her what i usually get but i told her like do what you want but 16 as the longest because i'm not trying to be too dramatic i'm not trying to be too drama but they're so full and i like that because give it a couple days it'll fall out and it'll still look fresh and new but it won't be so boom she ate she ate so bad i found me a new lash check period so i need to go home and change before i go get my eyebrows waxed i'm feeling i'm in a better mood now i took a lash nap i'm not cranky i got some food i got cute over because just what's right literally right beside the last shop so i'm about to eat it i started eating it in the place but this is what my bowl looks like but i got white rice no beans there's hot and sweet chicken queso sour cream and cheese this tasting a little bit better than chipotle right now I'm about to eat my food in the car and then I'm about to head back towards my house, change clothes, and then we're gonna get our eyebrows waxed and we'll be done. Like, yeah, yeah, she's taking it, honey. She's back. I went to the house, I got changed. I just put on this um, two piece blue set and it's 80 degrees. Where the niggas at? Ah, Y'all know I'm playing. Where they at for real? I went to Duncan. This is supposed to be sugar free, but I don't think it is. Unless it's just made really good, but I don't know. But as for two shots of hazelnut, two shots of vanilla. Two shots of vanilla is unsweetened. I think this vanilla is sweetened. The hazelnut is unsweetened, but I think the vanilla is sweetened. But I'm at Sephora. I'm about to go in because I need a face mask. I know like my skin is like eating you up right now, but it's really not. Like I have a lot of um blackheads, a lot of like my skin is just not really she's not taking it. Yeah, my skin has been acting up. This is my first stop, and then after that, we're gonna head to the nail shop to get my eyebrows waxed. I wasn't gonna get my feet done, I really need them done, but my big toe is broke in half, and I'm just gonna let it grow back for a little bit. Um, probably like to like I might give it like a month because I need my feet done, I don't be going without my feet done, so this is like unusual for me. But I feel like it's stupid to let it grow back because I'm getting acrylic toes when I go out the country again, which is coming up. But let's go ahead and go with Sephora and see if we can find this face mask or a face mask so we can have like a little self-care night. I just left Ulta because Sephora was tripping. I'm about to show out the mask I was looking for. This is the face mask I was looking for. And it was in there, it was $46 for this container. And on the website it said 35, but they had no sale in the store. Maybe I guess once they rung it up or something, but it was so tiny. And then I was like, let me keep looking. And Sephora is just like, I don't know, I'm an Ulta girly, so you know where I went. I went to Ulta and secured the bag of Ulta instead and got all this for $34. I got three things for $34 when I was about to spend $46 for one thing in Ulta. I got this. I don't know what brand this is, but it's called Masked Out French Green Clay Mask. Never seen this before, but I'm excited to try it. Oh yeah, I can't wait to use this tonight. So I'm going to use the face mask tonight. And then I also found the nose things, the nose strips I was telling y'all about. I also found the Mighty Patch brand, but those were twenty some dollars and this was 10 So I went with this instead. Eddie on a budget things, the nose pore patches so we can get these blackheads out of my nose. And then I also bought this cute Hello Kitty lip mask just cause I'm just a girl and yeah. So that is my Ulta haul. I also need to wash my car. And this Qdoba is stinking up my car. I haven't taken it out yet and she's, yeah. I'm gonna get my eyebrows waxed first and then wash my car, and then we're gonna go back home. I'm keeping like hot sauce. 
I got drunk in the screen, bro. Let me give me that mean mouth. Hit that pussy like pop pop. I can do this without y'all. I don't know if I got no I go back to the trap house. Spread that bitch in the bounce down. Catch it in and I cash out. Turn that shit to a stash house. I ain't taking no handouts. When they callin', I'm in the route. For them niggas, they been down. Blow up back when I'm in the route. Is it gonna use the bitch? I don't really got a check. I'm about to fix it. It's all about the game. Rocket diamonds on wet. I go water around my neck. I just don't remember next. When I'm popping with your lips. I take my friends. Niggas sending me threats. background I know it looks a little different I'm in the progress of situating my room kind of so that's why we are sitting where we're sitting and that's why it's perfumes and stuff all over the floor but it's currently 6 44 and y'all I am so sleepy I have been working I have been working out I've been taking care of this dog I have been doing schoolwork I have been doing everything and I'm tired, so I'm about to have to wrap this up. I got my jammies on. I just got a shower, finished working out. Got some food on the way. I just ordered um sushi because I'm tired. Of, I'm really tired of like I can't really think of nothing else to eat at this point. That's like decent for me because I'm doing 75 sauce, so I can't eat like wing stop. I can't eat all the stuff I want to eat. So sushi is pretty good. It just got crab, shrimp, rice, yeah. But we're about to go ahead and do the earth our thing, our thug this little. Um, I'm not gonna do the face mask tonight. I'm gonna just do that um, probably in probably tomorrow. But tonight, I definitely want to get this nose together. So we're gonna pop open one of these nose patches before I lay down for the night. I'm gonna also do the brightening under eye patches. Let me see how long I sleep on. Cleanse and fully drip and fully dry skin. This tape remove after six to eight hours. I'm thinking I'm keeping this on for like ten minutes. Remove after six to eight hours or overnight. I guess that's all we're doing tonight. I did not know. I don't know. I thought it was a couple minutes, like a regular nose patch, but this must be a real deal. I'm actually really excited to see how this works. I'm one of the people, I watched the little like blackhead extraction videos on TikTok. I was talking to um, my coworkers about that the other day. We was talking about like the weird stuff we watch on TikTok and don't judge. Cause I know there's people out here who got way worse ones than mine. I like the dandruff videos. I like watching people eat but i think that's kind of like normalized now i don't think that's like weird i just got into the mukbang so like i like the ones where people talk i don't like the ones where i'm just hearing them chew if that makes sense it gotta be like somebody talking i don't know i'm weird and then the earwax ones i used to like i don't like them no more though but the dandruff ones i like and then those videos where they just crush a whole bunch of stuff i really like those I just like a bunch of weird videos on TikTok. Here y'all like, when I say I'm tired, I'm just ready to get in the bed, watch my show, start editing, and do this. Okay, so I'm assuming it go like that. I just thought about, I'm gonna go pick up my food from the front door, cause the front door is locked. It's all right. They probably seen people with look worse than this. I don't think this is gonna stay on through the night cause I'm a rough sleeper. So I don't know too much about that. I'm about to put on my Laneige thingy. I don't like this. Um, Y'all hyped it up a little too much for me. Maybe it's like the flavor. Cause it's supposed to be gummy bear, but it tastes like grape, like grape medicine. And if you know one thing about Kaya, He's not gonna waste the money, so I'm gonna use it. I should have used the sleep mask. I like that one. The one in the tub, I have the pink one. I like the sleep mask, but this I don't recommend. I have the lip mask. I'm not gonna do that tonight. I'll save all this other stuff. I'm definitely doing a face mask tomorrow though, but right now I really just wanna focus on where my main problem is, is these blackheads. And tomorrow I'm gonna do a face mask. I'm filming another video tomorrow. So with that being said my maintenance is literally done i got my feet done my nails done my hair done my lashes done my eyebrows waxed like we done did it all and i just feel so good like when you look good you feel good and i've been in this mood where i'm kind of like i always go back and forth with myself like okay i want to be one of those girls who just keeps up with herself who just looks good all the time and who just is like in her feminine era just looking cute and like focuses on my appearance just always being kept up because i feel like that's an important thing as a woman but there's other times where i'd be like okay I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? But right now you can tell what face I'm in. I just wanna be, I just wanna be cute. You know, get my nails done, get my hair done, get my lashes done. But also it's very expensive. And that is an expensive habit to keep up with. So I try to like balance it out. Sometimes I'll just bum it out, look rough and call it a day. But other times I'm gonna 
pamper myself. That is the end of the maintenance vlog. I'm so glad to be done so I can literally just rest because I am so, so, so tired. Like, I haven't been this tired in a long time. So I'm gonna go rest for these next couple days until I have to work again. And I will see y'all in the next video.